Jeeves Stanley channel. If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel and also subscribe to our main channel, Treasure Hunting with Jeeves. Also, before I forget, I want you guys to check out the merch that we have. So that link's in the description, but it's also on the channel banner. So, what we're going to do in this video, I have all of these DVDs, as you can see. We took them to the flea market, couldn't sell, so we decided to bring back and make a video for this channel showing you guys how to use the app or website Declutter. So, Declutter, if you have it on your phone, easy scan go, scan go type thing, and it basically does exactly what the name is, declutters your stuff. So, I think it takes CDs, books, games. Um, even electronics like iPads. So you basically anything that has a barcode you scan it and it'll pop up red or green. If it's red they don't take it or um, it's just not recognized for some reason and if it's green it'll show you the title and the price. So before I get into all this I'm going to have next to me a screen recorder going on my phone so you guys can see the red and green pop up and it'll make it super easy and hopefully entertaining because you guys will see the prices pop up and then I'll go check my cart and you'll see the total so without further ado don't forget to like the video subscribe if you're new again let's get into it okay so when you get this is for the app now the website's the same thing but when you get to the app um, I want to go to sell CDs DVDs books and games because that's what I am selling yours might be different so you find the barcode scan it make sure there's no glares or anything and make sure um, it can it'll focus so that as you saw popped up red so it, it, it said that it doesn't take it now sometimes you'll have like random barcodes on it and it just won't take it that doesn't mean that they won't it just means that the barcode on there is not like correct or just a weird one that they don't recognize okay so you could see that it says that like they're not so keen or it looks like they were unable to find the title, but you know, it is what it is. I see it as these couldn't sell at the flea market, so might as well bring them home and see if we can get something for them. Like the one you guys just saw, there's like a green sticker over the um, regular barcode. If you can get those off, get them off or just open like the, the case and just pull the barcode out so I can read it. See, at, the, at first it said nothing because that's not the right barcode and instead I get like 12 or 20 cents, I can't remember what it said. And I do wanted to say that when you do this, you're probably going to find more things than not that are not accepted. So this is just a way to declutter what you have. Hence the name declutter. Don't go in expecting everything you scan to be accepted because they're a business. They have certain things, certain titles that they accept. One other tip though, if it's worth a dollar or more, check it on eBay because it might be uh, worth putting on eBay because they're, they're resellers. So I think they of course give you a portion and then they'll resell it for a little more. But 
Um, check in on eBay if it's worth more than one dollar or two, especially two. Another tip on declutter is everything that you scan in, you want to you want to scan in everything that you're going to put in one box because they count everything in your cart as one order. So don't scan like all these DVDs and then try to put it in like two or three boxes because then you're going to have two or three two or three of the same label with the same tracking and you're that that's not how you can do packages so make sure you're just scanning what will fit in the one box that you're trying to send out The box that I have getting sent out is way less than the other one. But I'm cool with that. I couldn't get rid of them at the flea market. Um, but we also got a tip from Locker Nuts today saying if you take your DVDs and lot them up on like a, like put them in a box, put like a hundred, two hundred, whatever you fit in a box as a lot on like your local sale like Facebook Marketplace, Offer Up, Let Go, um, people will be interested in buying it for like 30 or 40 bucks. So that's another way to get rid of them. We'll probably try that next time but we wanted to give you guys a declutter video because a lot of people surprisingly don't know about declutter and it's, it's a super super easy way to get rid of stuff. By the way, this video is not sponsored by the club. We just want to show you guys what we do. And once you scan everything in, you get the box. You get like a welcome packet, which has some instructions um, and then the shipping label so just attach the shipping label drop off at your nearest post office fedex ups whatever um, really doesn't matter and actually i'm wrong i think they use uh ups so if i'm right take it to your closest ups store drop it off get the receipt just in case and um, once Declutter receives the package, I'm pretty sure you get an email when they receive it. Uh, and then it takes probably a day or more to, a day or more, duh. Uh, probably a few days to get back to you because they go through everything that you scanned in to make sure that, you know, it's complete. Like the case is intact and they can sell it as a whole or do they have to market a cd only stuff like that and then you'll get your money and every time i've sent them in i mean i've pretty much gotten close to what my cart said so as you can see in the top part of my screen right here the little basket it says 33 things so i had these in stacks of 20 i didn't even say how many dvds um but i think i have four on this side and three on, on uh, this side. So overall, can't take that one. Um, overall, what is that? Eight and there's a hundred and then I'm bad at doing math, like 180, 160, 160 to 180 DVDs. Some of the stacks weren't exactly 20. to do if you're just like bored at home and you're like hmm I have like a whole bookcase of stuff to get rid of and I don't really touch these books or whatever's on your bookshelf and you're just like I'm just gonna sit and scan 
It's kind of relaxing. You can have like, um, <coughs> I have the do not disturb thing on. I don't know why that just came through. Um, yeah, you could just listen to music and scan, earn money in the process. Even though it's not a lot of money, you're earning money. Because otherwise you'd be sitting there watching TV not earning money. I also want to say I'm really glad that you guys are enjoying the flea market videos. They're really fun to make um, and I think it's a cool perspective when you guys can like hear I guess more so my interaction because I'm wearing the mic but my interaction with the customers and then of course my favorite part and it looks to be y'all's favorite part too which is the dollar and the free sale that doesn't even have a barcode. So I think it's funny when um, everybody starts flocking at the end. Because, I mean, who can pass up a dollar or a free deal? I would like that. We never had that in any flea market I've ever went to. So I think it's cool that the Stockton flea market does that. That's another question we get a lot is which flea market is it? Um, we go to the Stockton flea market when we do have stuff to sell. And I think if we get units, technically today, because that's when the video goes out, um, we, we might try the Concord flea market on Sunday. So we are, we're trying to keep up to date with posting like which flea market we're going to be at, but it's always more than likely going to be Stockton that we go to. Monday flea market at Stockton, amazing. Wednesday, Thursday, go if you, I mean, we want to get rid of stuff, but don't make nearly as much money on uh, Wednesday or Thursday unless you have a lot of stuff. And all we have is a van load, so once we get those, uh, once we get to those like big units where we have like a truck and trailer and like a bringing a lot of stuff, we're not going to hit the big money, but I mean, it's all perspective. We can either, like at, in Virginia, we can either sit and not make money that day, and then the next day go to the dump and pay 40 bucks to get rid of all this stuff, or get off our lazy butt and go to the flea market at 4 a.m. and make $100. That, that's even better than nothing. And I also wanted to say a lot of the a lot of you guys that are subscribed to the Treasure Hunting with Jeebus um, channel on the videos you can tell that me and Jeebus are losing weight and yes we are actually on the keto diet and have been strongly since we got here so we lost a few pounds I usually lose it first in my face so you'll see it a lot in my face. Um, and it usually takes a while for me to see it like in my actual body. And I think Jeebus is the other way around. Like I think he kind of equally loses it um, at the same time in his face and body. But thank you guys for the compliments. It makes us feel good. Shows us we're working hard. Last one here. Oh! That was supposed to go over here. Anyway, let me show you guys right here. After you're done scanning it, go up to the cart. Uh, 52 things out of like 150. That's not bad actually for declutter. So, <laughs> okay, the money's pretty bad. But it gives you a list here of what everything was worth. Um, a lot of stuff was like 20 cents. Um, a lot of stuff was 5 cents. But like I said, I'll take a nickel over it just sitting there. So, for the sake of this video, all this stuff right here that was scanned in, we are 
going to sell it for eight sixty nine to declutter. I mean, it is what it is. All the other stuff we might lot up and put on local sale to see what happens. But overall, um, I mean, pretty cool. Let's. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit complete. And after this, you see the payment options. So. We always do PayPal, PayPal super easy. Um, as you can see, you can pick other ones. You can even pick a charity that you want it to go to. Um, close to Christmas, a good Toys for Tots is a good one. Um, but uh, for, we're, we always do PayPal. I know direct deposit is recommended, but I don't really care about that. And I don't like entering, entering my like routing and account number every time. So just enter your email, hit continue and <clears throat> I'm not going to do that right now, so get away. That is how easy declutter is. Scan them in, put your information in, just follow the prompts, and you get paid. Once they, once they check everything, you get paid. It's actual money. Again, not sponsored video. We just want to show you guys how easy some of this stuff is to get rid of. I know a lot of people have cluttered houses, and I don't like cluttered houses. Even the garage, we're like listing, 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 listing to get it out of here. But again, declutter is super easy. You can download the app or you can go to the website. But unless you have like a physical scanner for the website, you have to enter all the barcodes manually. So that that's going to take way longer than it is if you just download it on your phone. So with all of that being said, I'm out of breath. But that's going to be it for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. New videos every Friday at 1.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 3.30 Eastern Time. Did I do that right? 2, 3, 4, 4.30 Eastern Time. Uh, check your time zones if you're in a different time zone other than Pacific or Eastern. Again, I want to relay our merch link is in the description. Support us if you can. Uh, follow us on Facebook. All those links are in the description. We also have Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat, but we don't use Snapchat. So leave it a like. Subscribe again if you're new. Subscribe to Treasure Hunter with Jeebus if you haven't already. Have fun. Laugh more. Peace out. <laughs>